Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here. Today I'm doing a pretty simple video. I'm just showing pretty much how I bronze my face. So pretty much my outlook on bronzing is just putting color into your face. Um, it used to be, I don't even know like how I used to do it before. I guess I would contour and then I would blend it out and I would put blush on. And now I kind of look at bronzing as just that warmth that I put on my face. Um, Cause I used to contour all around my face and blend it out. But I've started to like to use more warmer bronzing colors just to do that. But I guess it's kind of the same thing. I mean, bron bronzing and contouring, they're a lot alike. I think bronzing and contouring can be very similar acts. Like contouring is sculpting and bronzing is putting color in, if that makes sense. Um, I t it's weird because I don't really use blush that often anymore. I mean, I do sometimes, but when I use like the pinky shades, it's more in the winter time. Um, bronziness is just for, you know, that summertime. It makes you look tan and it makes you look sexy. Anyway, to kind of show you guys how I do this goodness. Mm. So yeah, if you guys would like to see how I bronze my face, then just keep watching. <laughs> So starting off, I'm going to be taking Kat Von D's Lock It Loose Powder in Petal and I'm just going to be running that over my foundation to set it. This is similar to when you prep your eyes for eyeshadow and you use setting powder, that way the shadows blend out nicer. That's pretty much what we're doing but just on the face. I'm going to be using the Hoola Bronzer and the Urban Decay Bronzer in Sunkest to be doing my contour and my bronze. So starting off, I am just going to go in and start contouring just to carve out my face a little bit more. This is a step that you can skip if you would just like to bronze. So I like to take a very large fluffy brush for this um, just because it blends it out so beautifully. If you guys can believe it or not, I actually got this brush off of Amazon. It came in a set of uh, six, I think, and they were only about 11 bucks. And these brushes are so gorgeous and they are so amazing. So just thought I'd let you know. So I'm going to be taking some bronzer and I'm going to be starting at the top of my contour and just using a side to side motion while bringing it upwards. I want to blend it into my powder onto the top of my cheekbone right there to put that warmth in there and to also create a flawless look. So however much you blend out and however much color you want to put in is totally personal preference. Just go with what you're feeling, go with what you like. Now I'm just going to be taking some of that bronzer color and I'm just going to be bringing it up into my face, bringing it around my hairline and into my temples. Not so much contouring but just putting some color into my face and just blending it out. So as you can see, blending is really the key here. So just keep blending until you get it where you like it. Just blend, blend, blend. So I decided to cover the right side of my face and just take it down to my basic foundation just so you guys can see the true effects of the before and after. Now just going back in with my Kat Von D loose powder, I'm just going to be cleaning up that area. And 
and now I'm going to let it bake, if you will, just for about three to four minutes. And I will be finishing this look by doing the other side of my face. I will be finishing the bottom of my eyes and then you can do any of your favorite lippy. And then this look will be complete. Okay, you guys, so that is it for this video. Um, as you can tell, it is a lot like contouring. Um, bronzing, like I said before, I think it's just bringing color and warmth to your face. Um, if you want to contour, you can too. As you can see, as I did in the beginning, I contour first and then I put bronzer and I blend it out with the bronzer. Um, but you can always skip the step of contouring and just bronze your face. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video and thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. nubs it just doesn't look the same it looks like if I had my sexy nails it'd be like slay but now it's like just keep them keep them right here so you can't tell if I have nails on or not just show the nubs